Hi friends, so uh, this video we are going to discuss the ransom, uh, most valuable uh, gift uh, you could ever receive. Why it, it's, mm, it's like that, right? So first of all, what is the ransom? Why mankind need it? And why God is saying, you know, uh, ransom required? So why all Christians believe in that well so many questions regarding ransom let's get into the video welcome everybody to the new episode the ransom part one friends in this uh, video we will uh, try to understand the answer of 13 questions related to ransom First, uh, first of all, uh, let's ask this question. When does a gift have a great value to you personally? Well, friends, uh, uh, no, so gift will be valued uh, very much, uh, not based on the, uh, the money value, right? If that gift is filling you some need you desperately required, or it's that gift give you, you know, the happiness, then we will value it, right? So, uh, second, uh, let's ask this question. Uh, why can it be said that the uh, ransom is the most valuable gift you could ever receive? Uh, to answer that question, let's uh, Bible uh, replay uh, that. Uh, let's read Matthew chapter 20, uh, verses 28 reads, Just as the Son of Man came not to be ministered to, but to minister and give his life as a ransom in exchange for many. Well, Jehovah has given us uh, so many uh, blessings, uh, but uh, Bible is saying this is the greatest gift um, because it's going to fill uh, your happiness and, uh, and uh, all mankind important needs. Uh, so Bible is saying that it's a great expression of God, Jehovah God's love. Um, uh, so before that, you know, to, uh, let's see more details. What is ransom? Okay. Okay. Let me uh, share this question to you. What is ransom and why do we need to understand in order to appreciate this value gift? Okay. First of all, uh, uh, see, put, uh, uh, put simply, we can say that, you know, ransom is Jehovah's means to deliver or save humankind from sin and death. Okay, simple. Uh, that's what you should understand when Christians or non-Christians are hearing about ransom means this is what Jehovah's mind. Uh, uh, he, uh, you know, he uh, shared this meaning throughout the Bible. Well, let's read one scripture, Ephesians chapter 1, 7. By means of him, we have the release by ransom through the blood of that one. Yes, the forgiveness of our trespasses according to the riches of his undeserved kindness. Well, to understand this, we have to know some more background about uh, uh, the you know uh, uh, start of Adam and Eve, right? Um, okay, for that, uh, let's uh, see some more details. When God created Adam, uh, see he God Jehovah gave him perfect life. It means he will not die, he will not fall sick. Uh, um, so he called us a son of God. See, you know that Jesus Christ also called us son of God because, um, you know, because they created by God Jehovah directly, right? So uh, that's the reason God Jehovah uh, known as Father in Bible, and Jesus Christ known as Son of God, and even um, Adam also Bible is uh, calling son of God. Uh, where you can read is Luke chapter 3, 38 reads, Son of Enosh, Son of Seth, Son of Adam, Son of God, right? So Adam enjoyed a very close relationship with Jehovah, uh, uh, like a son of a loving father. So 
let's read that uh, the story those who are uh, you know watching non christian people for them i'm reading this from the bible uh, you can read this genesis chapter 1 verses 28 to 30 further god blessed them and god said to them be fruitful and become many fill the earth so and subdue it and how the subjection uh, the fish of the sea and the fly creatures of the heaven every living creature that moving on the earth then god said here i have given to you every seed bearing plant that is on the entire earth every tree with the seed bearing fruit let them serve as food for you and to every wild animal of the earth and to every flying creatures of the heaven and to everything moving on the earth in which there is a life i have given all green vegetation for food and it was so okay let's read chapter 2 16 and 17 jeho god also gave his this command to the man from every tree the garden of you may eat to satisfaction but as for the tree of the knowledge of good and bad you must not eat from it from the day you eat from it you will certainly die okay i hope you enjoyed the scripture well here uh, god gave him a blessed him with a great life eternal life and he provided a beautiful garden in a food only and satisfy work actually what was is uh, adam and eve work is extend that garden to whole earth that was his work actually so through which uh, they were not bored and they were really blessed okay uh let's see uh, bible saying that adam and eve adam made in god's image what do you mean by god's image right okay see you know that um, god jehovah is invisible spirit right so first of all where you can read uh, they create uh, god jehovah created uh, adam in god's image let's read genesis chapter 127 and god went on to create the man in this his image in god's image he created him male and female he created them okay uh, now we have to understand what is god's image then for but bible saying god, god jeho is a invisible spirit so there is no particular image for him right then what does that mean Okay, where you can read God Jehovah is a spirit, invisible spirit. Okay, John chapter four twenty four reads, God is a spirit, and those who worship Him must worship with the spirit and truth. Well, so Jehovah does not have a body of the flesh and blood. So image here are talking about God's quality like love, wisdom, justice, a power, right? All these qualities He Uh, inserted to his son Adam also. Instead of making him as a robot, Adam was a, able to make his own decisions. You know, choose him between right and wrong. Right? I am. Um, if he had chosen obey uh, God, he would have lived forever in paradise earth friends. Um, say okay. Now in your mind, one more question may arise. when adam disobeyed god what did he lose and how were his offspring affected well friends for that please read chapter genesis chapter 3 17 to 19 and to adam he said because you listened to your wife voice and ate from the tree concerning which i gave to you this command you must not eat from it curse is the ground on your account in pain you will eat its produce all the days of your life it will grow thorns and thistles for you and you must eat the vegetation of the field in the sweat of your face you will eat bread until you return to the ground for out of it you were taken for the dust you are the dust and you will return so here only and you know, god jehova cursing them because of their disobedience here only he is saying you will die right well so bible also saying through one man sin entered into the world and the death through sins also death spread to all men because of they all had sin 
see uh, second question why his children also suffered so you know uh, romans chapter 5 told reads that is why just through one man sin entered into the world death through sin so the death spread to all men because of they had all sinned so uh, death reads in bible saying sin right okay romans chapter 7 14 also reads for we know that the law is spiritual but i am fleshly uh sold under sin so all are sinners so all inherit a death from adam that's why we all are friends the bible saying you and me die okay so this curse will continue for the mankind or uh, we can also live like uh, angels uh, forever enjoy the close relation with the heavenly father let's see uh, let's see so the ransom basically involved what uh, two things what what that see first of all the ransom means for suppose you know normally yes, uh, uh, it's like a price paid to release uh, of, of a prisoner right of war right in that time we used to use this word ransom the second thing is like um, um, Uh, uh, if a person causes an accident for example i'm uh, saying he would have to pay an amount that fully corresponds to equals to the value of what have was damaged right so two things one is as a uh, you know release a person as a price second thing is okay the da- uh, the compensation right we used to pay the compensation if any uh, some loss happened to another person due to our uh, knowingly or knowing action so we invited to pay compensation so so ransom involved these two things now let's uh, get into uh, more details how uh, god jehovah was designed the ransom fulfilled these uh, two criteria how jehovah provided the ransom then okay the question in your mind you can ask what sort of ransom was required right okay so before that uh, we already discussed Adam's life was very perfect, right? Uh, uh, so he um, he he uh, is not inherited from his far any human imperfect human, right? So he directly created by God Jehovah. So Bible saying he possesses the perfect life. Let's read Psalm forty nine seven to eight. None of the uh, them can ever redeem a brother or give to God a ransom for him. The ransom price of their life is so precious that is always beyond their reach. So Bible saying, okay, the uh, justice is uh, like uh, what uh, was needed was a ransom equal in a value to what we lost. So the perf- uh, life will be for life. This is God Jehovah's you know justice. So uh, let's read one more scripture, Deuteronomy chapter nineteen twenty one. You should not feel sorry. Life will be for life. eye for the eye tooth for the tooth hand for the hand food for the f- uh, food so so what would cover the value of the perfect human soul then or life a, uh, that adam lost what do you think friends and the perfect human life was a corresponding ransom that was required right so uh, first timothy chapter 2 6 reads who gave himself a corresponding ransom for all this is what to be witnessed to in its own due time right so okay you know the jesus life was a perfect right it was not imperfect he uh, his step father was a joseph but he inherited uh, from god jehovah means you know god jehovah transmit uh, you know transformed his heavenly life uh to the earthly form right it was a miracle we already discussed in in our previous videos friends so jesus life only the perfect life just like adam should get sacrificed that is what the justice god jehovah designed as a ransom okay now in your mind okay how did jehovah provide the ransom okay just reach first john 4 9 to 10 By this the love of God was revealed in our case that God sent his only begotten son into the world so that we might gain life through him the love in this respect not that we have love God but the he loved us and sent his son as a propitiation uh, uh, sacrifice right 
propitiatory sacrifice for our sins. It means, you know, we, instead of our death, he sacrificed his own son's perfect life on earth. Right? Let's read uh, Philippians chapter 2 verse 7. No, but the, he emptied himself and took a slave's form and became human. As we learned in the preceding chapter, uh, you know, by means of God's Holy Spirit, Jesus was born as a perfect human and was not under the penalty of the sin. So his life was a perfect. So he was only the person can give or eligible to give this ransom. Luke chapter 135 reads, In answer, the angel said to her, Holy Spirit will come upon you. The power of Most High will overshadow you. For that reason, the one who is born will be called Holy God's Son. Okay. Uh, now you understood how did Jehovah provide the ransom. Now you understood his arrangement, don't you? Friends, now in your mind, there will be one question. How can one person can save millions, right? Uh, well, um, but what here happened also, one Adam sin only, his offspring suffered, right? The perfect life, he uh, lost it due to his uh, disobedience. and But uh, by sacrificing, giving up his perfect life in God, flawless obedience to God, Jesus pays the price for Adam's sin. Um, Jesus thus brought hope to Adam's offspring, friends. Let's read uh, uh, 1 Corinthians 15 45. So it is written the first man Adam became a living person, the last Adam became a uh, life giving spirit. So he took Adam's place, who Jesus Christ, and he sacrificed his uh, in a perfect life instead of as a ransom. Uh, uh, for the Adams who he loses perfect life and through which the offspring also can get benefit and uh, get rid of the curse from Heavenly Father. Okay, Romans chapter 5, 19 reads, For just as through the disobedience of one man, many were made sinners, so also through the disobedience or obedience of the one person, many will be made righteous. 1 Corinthians 15, 21, 22 reads, For since death came through a man, resurrection of death also came through a man. For just as in Adam all are dying, so also in the Christ all will be made alive. So hope you got the answer. Uh, well, uh, let's move to the next question. What was proved by Jesus' suffering? Okay, now... Jesus' death was very painful, uh, you know, Romans tortured him and killed, right? So, uh, you know, what was uh, proved? So, why uh, that was uh, required? Well, so he endured his, uh, you know, uh, painful uh, death, right? He was uh, whipped and nailed to the torture stake, suffering and agonizing death. Uh, but in a, uh, you know, uh, Jehovah has any human servants who would remain faithful under trial? Well, he answered that the Satan's challenge, right? Satan um, uh, said that, you know, uh, you know, humans will not stand if they are under trial. But Jesus proved that no, uh, uh, humans can love Heavenly Father and f follow his uh, uh, commandments and can be faithful. Jesus uh, proved that through his uh, painful death. So that is also one um, reason, uh, one of the, uh, you know, uh, you know, Satan's raised this question, um, you know, send us back to uh, in heaven, uh, you know, that we will discuss in the future, uh, you know, episodes, uh, what is that issue and what Satan claimed, right? From the beginning also he, is, he claimed, false claims he raised, well, after that also he raised some false claims against uh, the mankind. Uh, before that he claimed against uh, false claims against uh, God Jehovah in Ga Eden. Well, uh, after some time he raised a false claim ab uh, about the mankind in heaven. That we will see later. But for just read John chapter 91. 
Pilate then uh, took Jesus and scourged him, right? 16, 18 reads, Then he handed him over to them to be executed on the stake. So they took charges of Jesus, bearing the torture stake for himself. We, he went out so-called skull place, which is called uh, Golgotha in Hebrew, where they nailed him to the stake alongside two other men, one man each side with Jesus in the middle. <coughs> okay. And 30, John chapter 19, 30 reads, When he had received the so when Jesus said, It has been accomplished. And bowing his head, he gave up his spirit. Okay. Uh, Proverbs 27, 11 say, Be wise, my son, and make my heart rejoice, so that I can make reply to him who taunts me. Okay. So this is a issue between God, Jehovah, and Satan, the devil. So as I said, we will discuss this uh, this topic later in detail. Okay, now let's see how was the ransom paid. Well, on 14th day, the Jewish man Nisan um, in 33C, God allowed his perfect and sinless son to be executed. Jesus the sacrifice is perfect human life once for all time. Hebrew 10.10 10 reads, By this will we have been sacrificed through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once for all time. Let's read final uh, one more uh, Hebrew 9 uh, 24. Oh Christ did not enter into a holy place made with hands, which is a copy of the reality, but into the heaven itself, so that he now appears before God on our behalf. Let's read more Romans chapter 3 and 23 24 reads For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God, and it is a, as a free gift. That they are being declared righteous by his undeserved kindness through the release by the ransom paid by Christ Jesus. Okay, uh, friends in heaven, Jesus presented to God the value of his perfect human life, life sacrificed as a ransom in exchange for the Adam's God offspring. And Jeho Jehovah accepted the value of Jesus' sacrifice as the ransom needed. To deliver mankind from slavery to sin and death. Friends, I'm winding up uh, this video here. And we will see in part 2 some more details about a ransom. A uh, very important question. What the ransom can mean for you. Stay tuned friends and um, uh, thank you all so much for your support. And um, you can see the I don't know we were from the different countries. I'm really thankful and I request you to subscribe and watch for the so that I uh, press the bell button so that you will get a future videos notification. Um, thank you so much, friends. See you all. Uh, take care.